A young Indian Army lieutenant punched a Chinese PLA major on his nose and sent blood oozing from his nose. The incident happened at Mugathang, which is in the Indian state of Sikkim. The Indian officer's infantry unit had stopped the intruding Chinese PLA and were furious at the Chinese commissar for shouting, This Sikkim is not your land. This is not Indian territory, so just go back. Brought up in a military family, his grandfather, a veteran of the Royal and then Indian Air Force, and his father a colonel in the Indian Army, the officer threw a solid punch. The Chinese major collapsed with a thud and his name tag came loose. This comes at a time when India is chalking out a strategy to shore up its firepower as it faces an ever-growing Chinese Navy. One of the important parts of the strategy is six missile boats, which will be manufactured under the Make in India program. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how India is planning to counter the Chinese Navy with next-generation missile vessel. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play military vehicle combat game War Thunder. We talk a lot about military vehicles on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? In War Thunder, you can choose from more than 1,200 playable vehicles from the 1930s to the 1990s and go to battle on more than 80 theaters of war. You can fly aircraft, helicopters, drive tanks, and command ships of all types and sizes, which have been carefully recreated from their real-world counterparts. It's available as a free download on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. So grab your friends and give it a try. All viewers of Defense Updates that register using the link in the description below will also get a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship and three days of premium account time as a bonus. The Next Generation Missile Vessel or NGMV will be deployed for anti-surface warfare as well as can be used for land attack missions. These boats will have reduced radar cross-section so it will be hard to be detected by enemy ships. Also, these will have lower acoustic signatures to make the ship hard to identify by sonars. These will be achieved by having a stealthy hull design as well as the use of special materials. The Indian Navy wants a vessel capable of a maximum speed of no less than 35 knots and be able to remain at sea for up to 10 days. The NGMV will carry surface-to-air and anti-ship missiles. The vessel will have a range of 2,800 nautical miles or 5,185 kilometers. NGMV is expected to have a displacement of about 2,000 tons. These ships will be able to accommodate some 100 personnel, including 11 officers. The missile boats will be armed with several weapons, like a full-fledged SAM system with point defense capabilities. But the most important aspect is the presence of eight vertical launch system tubes. These tubes will be used to deploy BrahMos and near-bay cruise missiles. Let's check them out one by one. BrahMos is developed jointly by India's Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO, and Russia's NPO Machinostroyenya. It's powered by a ramjet engine. BrahMos is currently considered to be one of the most deadly cruise missiles. BrahMos presents a challenge to any surface ship. The reason is its unique features. 1. It has a supersonic speed of Mach 3 or 1 km per second, providing very little time to intercept. 2. BrahMos uses a 300 kg or 660 pounds semi-armor piercing warhead and also has very high kinetic energy since kinetic energy is directly proportional to the square of velocity. BrahMos actually has about nine times the kinetic energy of conventional subsonic missiles like Tomahawk. The combined destructive force of the massive warhead and kinetic energy is lethal for even the biggest surface warships and bunkers. BrahMos has been known to break ships in half in several tests. 3. It can perform S maneuvers in the final stages of flight. The missile basically doesn't move in a straight line, which makes it hard to intercept. 4. There are lots of redundancies in the guidance system. 
right from the INS, GPS, GLONASS, and Gagan, making it hard to jam. 5. The accuracy of around 1 square meter makes it apt for precision strike on high-value targets. India was earlier not part of the Missile Technology Control Regime MTCR. Hence, Russia could not help or jointly develop a missile with a non-MTCR nation like India, whose range is more than 300 kilometers or about 186 miles. But India has entered MTCR in 2016 and the latest Mark IV variant will be having a range of 800 kilometers or about 500 miles. Near Bay, meaning fearless, is a long-range, all-weather, subsonic cruise missile designed and developed in India by Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO. The missile can be launched from multiple platforms and is capable of carrying conventional and nuclear warheads. It is currently under development and undergoing flight trials. Near Bay is powered by a solid rocket booster for takeoff and upon reaching the required velocity and height, a turbofan engine in the missile takes over for further propulsion. The missile is guided by an inertial navigation system and a radio altimeter for height determination. The missile has a ring laser gyroscope RLG based guidance, control and navigation system. It also has a microelectromechanical system MEMS based inertial navigation system INS along with the GPS Navic system. The missile has a length of 6 meters and a width of 0.52 meters, a wingspan of 2.7 meters, and weighs about 1,500 kilograms or about 3,307 pounds. It has a range of about 1,000 kilometers or about 620 miles and is capable of delivering 24 different types of warheads, up to 300 kilograms or 661 pounds. The missile is claimed to have sea skimming and loitering capability. In other words, it can go around a target and perform several maneuvers and then re-engage it. It is also able to pick out a target and attack it among multiple targets. With two side wings, the missile is capable of flying at different altitudes, ranging from 100 meters to 4 kilometers above the ground, and can also fly at low altitudes, like low tree level, to avoid detection by enemy radar. China has been one of the fastest growing major economies in the world for the last two decades. Its economic strength has enabled it to pour in a large number of resources in both men and material in its military. The Chinese military has made huge strides in hardware, both in terms of quality and quantity. Chinese Navy has got a fair share of upgrades and has been moving from being a brown water navy to a blue water navy. The surface fleet of the People's Liberation Army Navy is transforming and is now having a sophisticated array of surface combatants. One of the most prominent examples is the Type 055 destroyer. Type 055 warships have an overall length of 590 feet or about 180 meters and have a displacement of around 13,000 tons when fully loaded. A fast moving, stealthy, and well equipped boat can be utilized as part of asymmetric strategy, and India has experience in using them. Viewers may note that in 1971 Indo-Pak War, the Indian Navy had burned down Pakistan's Karachi Harbor with Russian missile boats. The presence of BrahMos in Near Bay will make sure that NGMV will be able to punch much above its weight. NGMV is part of a larger undertaking which also included India and U.S. joining hands. The Indian and U.S. navies completed a naval drill last year that focused on anti-submarine warfare, apart from information sharing and coordination between maritime patrol aircraft and surface combatants. The exercise was held on April 15 near Diego Garcia in the Indian Ocean. The exercise involved some of the most advanced anti-submarine warfare platforms in the world the P-8 Poseidon Maritime Patrol aircraft from both navies and Arleigh Burke-class guided missile destroyer USS Spruance DDG-111 from the U.S. Navy.
It remains to be seen how things pan out in the coming days. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.